All right, we bring it back to the panel now. John, Whew. your big picture thoughts. We're going to get to the base run. Good stuff. I, I want to know what you stuff. think. Thank you. What are your thoughts? I, if I were thinking of all the stuff you covered there, I think about John Gray, who's become such a weapon for mm. Texas, but also that the short start by Scherzer meant that Gray isn't starting tonight, which I think probably was in the plans, mm. uh, if, if Scherzer could give him length. So we're in almost a pure bullpen game, certainly for Arizona with Mantiply, but Heaney has hardly pitched this month. He hasn't gone into the fifth inning since late August against the Mets. So it's going to be another short start for Texas, and they don't have Gray tonight to back it up. It's Martin Perez, Dane Dunning, and others. So the connectivity of the short start by Scherzer to what it means for these next two nights, I think, is very interesting. Okay, your thoughts? Great point. No, a great point by Joel. And, and I, believe it or not, I was thinking the same thing about Scherzer out of the pen. Really? Before it all okay. started. I thought about that with you, Brian. I'm, 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 you're going to love what I got to say today. <laughs> yeah, please, Some let me know. good stuff. Uh, I was thinking about Seeger. Look, we keep saying it's an ambush. It's not an ambush once you show it to him once. True, right. You're not surprised yeah, anybody. It. It's a good so point. he's right. coming right. to the right. game right. with a plan. He's looking for his pitch. It reminds me of Paul Molitor. And we'd start a game off. Paul Molitor jumped fastball so much, you start throwing a slider. Now he's 1-0. and mm -hmm. So, so. Seeger's controlling the strikes. Right, He's right. controlling how they pitch yep. him because of his approach and being able to hit. Joel, I'll let you jump in on this point real quick. Uh, it's before just, we get to the base I, run. I, I hate to even say it because he's got a $325 million contract. But I think we're learning what a great player Seeger is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. I've been on them the last 10 games, seven ALCS and yep. three here. Seeger's a great hitter. He's a much better defender than his reputation. He's really good. He's a yeah. superb base runner, right? Uh, yeah. I think Tony Beasley was saying I've yesterday, yeah. like he might Maybe be he should be a $300 player. But, <laughs> but, but, but I, I think, more. I, think <laughs> I can't pay him more. <laughs> I think it's the day they signed that contract with him. They're like, really? $325 million for Seager? And I think this postseason, for a guy who won the MVP of the NLCS and the World Series a couple of years ago, has reaffirmed just what a terrific all-around player Seager is. Well, Joel, Joel, the other day I said he's the best hitter in the big leagues. I'm not talking about power. I'm talking about all around. And it reminds me of George Brett. George Brett squared every ball up. He hit for a high average, and he hit home yeah, runs when yeah. he needed to. Doubles. Yeah. That's Seager. You know, he's that great of a player. But let's go to the play we've been talking about. Base so running good, because I want to ask specifically. All right. Because right, I thought of you, and this is where your experience comes to the fore, and knowing, like, what the what the signals are supposed to be, where the coach is supposed to be, how late is too late? You're waving a guy in to say, wait, now stop. You tell me. Yeah, it was too late. And I, I think the one thing that's kind of – that hurts is that you're, it's an 0-0 score, and you got no outs. So when the ball's hit here, look at the, I'm going to give you the overhead view. Watch the third base coach. He's right by the logo. He's waving, waving, waving. He says, stop. It's too late. Yeah. All right, I'm yeah. going to show you it a little slower. But by the time he makes that decision, it's too late. And he gets caught right where the guy is going to be at the bag. And that's the biggest thing. It's like when you end up doing that. So let's look at him right here. He's got his arms up, but the runner is already looking down at the base, as he said in the interview. Right. All right. You're, you got at some point you got to touch the base. Right. You're looking down. Right, right. So when he puts his hands up, it's just bad timing. He read the play that he wanted to stop him, but he had to anticipate that before the balls hit that hard off the bat. I got Garcia out there. Can you tell me, Harold, just, what's the normal protocol? Can you stop a guy before he gets to third? Is that because I, I didn't know he was before he got to third? Yeah. Or is that? I it's know too late because okay. you you, you got to give him enough time. Time because you're gonna blow his leg out. You know it's not. Right. You know, also you, your you first get, baseman. Yes. Right. Big so guy. you gotta freeze him. And I, I just think it was a bad read, set up by the play, the situation. I got the the, sec, the the first baseman with no outs at second. Ball hit hard off the bat. They bobble it. Okay, I wave you on. But you're stopping. We're first and third. As soon as that ball's hit. Oh, outs. Can, yeah. can I suggest and, something also, Harold? Shouldn't if you're gonna go from from wave to stop. The th and you know he might be dropping his head to get the base. Do isn't it the job of the third base coach to come, instead of getting further away, to actually come forward towards him so he sees the stop sign? Isn't that the rule yeah, of thumb that is, there? Yeah, that's generally what guys do. But once the other part of us talking about is he waved afterwards, well, after that, it's like, okay, you got to go, you know? So I, it's a tough read because the balls hit so sharp. But that's what I'm saying. The situation ahead of time, 
tells him that ball hit that hard. I got him at second base. Yeah. We're holding I, you regard. You know, I, I thought for and sure. there's no outs. Harold, I thought of you last night. I know you'd be on the show today, and I thought I got to ask Harold. And I bet Harold is going to say exact. I thought there's no way that's okay that you can just stop a guy at that point. And yet I hate doing it because you know, to keep your job at third base, you yeah. need to not have guys thrown out. So what happens is nobody is getting thrown out, but not as many runs are scoring. I'd, right. I'd want to empower a third base coach, be aggressive. Be aggressive. And yet, I, that's why I hate begging on this, because well, I want guys to be aggressive. And look, he's done this all year. He has the most aggressive team in baseball. So he hasn't made mistakes. We're on the grand stage. So now everybody's pouncing on, and the cutaways on TV are showing him, oh, <laughs> yeah. you know, and yeah. Next, yeah. You know, he's on blast. Yeah. Look, Troy Lavello trusts this guy. This guy's been a fantastic third base coach. It was a tough situation. I'm saying he had to anticipate the situation prior to the ball being hit. Hit hard to right field with Garcia. I'm not saying. Shut it down. Empower third, third with two outs. Don't empower with no outs and risk an out there. Yeah, and I'll throw in one other thing about human nature. I was here for the off day uh, clubhouse. Christian Walker dealt with wave after wave of people, and he was talking about how bad he felt that he hadn't hit along the way to help the team get to the point and how much he wanted to kind of join the band. I just wonder if human nature is there, and Walker is run, who I'm sure runs hard all the time, is thinking, I got to score. I got to do something for the team here. And See, almost but that, and that. But I don't think this is on Walker at all. No, no, but I'm just saying the okay. mindset of yeah. the player there. Right. Oh, by the way, I think it's a totally pro move for Christian Walker, asked about it, say, that's on me. Because I love what, that. Right. Not to go out and say, it's hey, not no, on it, him. it was too late for him yes. to stop me. Exactly. I, it's not my fault. No, right. I, I of love course that. not. And, and that just speaks to the volume it. of the unity of this Correct. team. Correct. They ate it.